Now put your paws and hooves together for Bella and Boris! <laughs> Boris, what's with the glasses? I'm trying out a new look. Which look is that? Awesome. <sighs> How was your week, Gigi? I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> it's so dark in here! Seriously, you guys, the floor is like super sticky. Ooh, bubble gum! Mm. 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 Uh, that wasn't bubble gum. You better just get to the show, folks. I, uh, I have a lot to deal with here. Welcome to Fingerlings Art Corner with your guest host, Gigi. Hello, friends. What a magical day. And on this magical day, we are here to learn how to paint Sparkle Heights, the land of candy and unicorns. Oh, I'm just a little bit, um, well, let's get to it, shall we? What you're going to want to do is start with fields of mint chocolate grass that lead up to Mount Molten Cake. Mmm, boy. Make sure you get all the dripping icing layers in there. Oh, and just some happy little colorful sprinkles on top. There you go. <clears throat> and then you're going to want to put some happy little lollipops in there. Just happy little pops of lolly. <laughs> One and two and three and... Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm a little hungry. And now it's time for the gummy droppy meringue bushes. Just happy little bushes covered in delicious gummy droppies. Oh boy. Now, uh, where was I? Oh yes, the cotton candy clouds. Just the fluffiest, melt in your mouthiest puffs of pink that you can imagine. Just puffs of happiness. What's that, Mr. Pink Puff Cloud? I should eat you? Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> well, I suppose a nibble wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> Go to commercial! Go to commercial! This has been Fingerlings Art Corner. Excuse me. Where's everyone going? Oh, they're playing the trailer for your cartoon! <laughs> cool. What? And welcome to the Banana Shack! Duh! What's up, fam? Hi, Gigi! Hey, Ollie! Hit me with the use. But, like, you never ordered the same thing twice, eh? Mysterious, Nespa. Sweep, sweep, clean, clean mouth, mouth, open mouth, 
Oh, oh, oh! It is better to keep your mouth closed and let people think you are a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. Ha ha! <sighs> it's a toothbrush. Well, I just don't see it. He's escaped! The monster's escaped! No! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, smashing motion picture. <laughs> hey, fam! I'm here for the sleep. Never mind. I am so freaking out right now, you guys! Sometimes life can give you lemons. Yeah! And when that happens, you need to make lemon-flavored candy. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Well, here is a super sneak peek of our next cartoon all about that very topic. Sour lemon drops? No, lemon pie? That just doesn't make sense. And make sure to come back to check out the whole tale. <laughs> Wow, this is so refreshing. Oh, come on, you guys. We can make the best of this. Ah, oh, what a delicious sleep, friends. Now come, let us sojourn into the outdoors for a beautiful day of fun and games. Pardon my vernacular, but this party is just commencing. Ha 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 ha. Well, if you can't beat them, join them, I guess. <sighs> Back to bed. Back to bed. Hey, you guys! Uh, this isn't funny! Thank you so much for having me as a guest. Girl, please, you're in the fam now! <laughs> And remember, if you're doing anything, you may as well do it unicorn style! DJ Boris, show him how it's done! Let's do this! We need to figure out who the new fingerling is. This is getting ridiculous. No offense. I want to be your best friend. Oh, that's very nice of you. But what do you... I want to be your best friend. Please? Oh, dudes.
I feel like we should say something. Never mind. Why won't you love me? I guess what I really want to say is that I am sorry. Okay. Sorry that I did not destroy us. Dudes, we really need a coordinator. Stay tuned for more Who Wants to Be a Fingerling? Hey, everyone! Here's a sneak peek of a new Fingerling's tail! And make sure to come back for the whole shebang! Enjoy the clip! I'm okay. And what are you doing today? Bouncing. And why is that? Oh, you're trying to set the world record for the most jumps in a single day? Nope. I'm gonna break it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Anything to add, Marge? Hey, every... Whoopsie! <laughs> 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 DJ Boris, play us out of here. What's up, my dudes? I am Boris, and this is Dude School. Now, dude, more than a word, more than a state of mind, it's our friend. And as a friend, it will be there for you in a lot of ways. For instance, first, there is the nice to see you friend, dude. Dude. And let's not forget the whoa, dude. Dude. Then there is the. Hey, man, not cool. Dude. And in our dance class, you'll learn to apply your dudeness even in arguing. Dude. 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 So let's dive in, dudes. Dudes. Dude. Dude. Now, here they are, Bella and Boris! Hi, everyone, and thanks for coming back. I missed you. Yeah, you. It's the Fingerlings birthday month, and you know what that means. Balloon animals! Nope. Aww. It means we get to do the best thing we can as friends, and that's make more friends! Meet the pandas! Enjoy the show, folks! It's time for Twirl Woodies! With me, your fitness guru, Gigi! What's up, class? Who's ready to work out? Like a unicorn! Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, let's start with a marshmallow bounce! And five, six, seven, eight, and bounce! And bounce! And bounce! And bounce on woo! Okay, now let's do the candy nom! Um nom nom nom! Um nom nom nom! Um nom nom nom! nom candy! Um nom nom nom! Um nom nom nom! Um nom nom nom! Um, nom, 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 nom candy! 
I can't feel my face. All right, great warm up, you guys. Now let's do the workout. <laughs> dramatization. Any similarity to any living human, monkey, or unicorn is completely coincidental and most definitely didn't happen last Tuesday to me. Um, thank you. Showtime! Huh? <laughs> okay. Showtime! Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Anything you want to say to the nice folks at home, Polly? Can you go check out Fingerlings.com? We can find out more stuff about the panda. <laughs> she says to check out Fingerlings.com for more cool info on pandas and all her panda friends. And I really like meeting them. And she really liked meeting you. <laughs> Good night, everybody! <laughs>
Okay, seriously, joke's over, everybody. Let's just answer the question and we can all move on with our day. Knock, knock. Enough! I will be insulted no longer! I am going to get my own show! Just you watch me! Who's there? So let me get this straight. They also let you make cartoons? Yep. People seem to like them. Oh, wowzers! You just blew my mind! That's it. We're staying. I'm talking to my dad. Enjoy the clip! Good night, Bella. Your spirit's so bold. You're brave and so strong when all else is told. And good night, Boris, who's play- Keep it moving, dude. I sleep three hours a night. Thank you so much, everyone, for a great show. And thanks, Tara, for joining the family. And a dance party? Nah. And thank you for coming back. If you keep coming for them, we'll keep making them. Good night, everybody. Contestant number two is tiny, cute, but packs a big punch. Let's give a warm welcome to Goldie the Mini! <laughs> and finally, contestant number three, Finn. Ladies and gentle dudes, Bella the Monkey! Welcome, Bella. Thank you. You've prepared questions and now we're gonna let you ask them. Good luck! Contestant number one, if you were a cloud, what shape would you be? That is so sweet! I never looked at it that way! <laughs> okay, contestant number two, same question! <laughs> so, true! <laughs> Number three, if you were a cloud, what shape would you be? Well, I'd say it would be yin and yang. Two complementary shapes, beautiful and soft, but only truly existing when we're together, like we would be as best friends. Okay, I guess. Huh? Contestant one, you sound so musical. As besties, what kind of music could we make together? I love that! That would be a blast! <laughs> uh, what's happening? You know what that sound means! It's time for the last question, Bella! The floor is yours! Okay, um, so to close, if you could have any superpower, what would it be, and how would you use it to help others? Here we go. Okay, final contestant. What superpower would you use to help others in need? Oh, 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 ah, 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 e -e -e -e. la, la, la. <clears throat> that is no joke. The most beautiful thing I have ever heard in my life. Oh. <laughs> 
We'll be right back after the break, folks. Stay tuned for more Bestie matchups. And now we have a real treat. A sneak peek of our new cartoon, Meet Marge! What's up? She's, um, she's a sloth. to be watching her candy intake. <laughs> you might have a point. Enjoy the show, folks! Hi, I I'm here for the audition. Oh, we're getting right to it? Okie dokie. Let's do this! Oh, the drought, Paul. It's just been so dry. I'm afraid we can't afford to keep the farm. Is what I'd be saying if we didn't have the greatest crop of all time. <laughs> Listen up, people. We are dealing with the storm of the century here. We need to think fast and act faster if we're going to survive the beautiful warm weather. Crikey! The jungle is filled with so many precious creatures for Mother Nature herself. Likes to realize how amazing our planet really is. We'll just see about that, Miss Buttercup. You don't want to miss your train. <laughs> oh no, I need someone to come and save me. Help! Help! I... I'm sorry, this whole damsel in distress thing just really isn't my... thing. You're hired? <laughs> oh, poor fella. Here's a sneak peek at a brand new cartoon featuring... Boris! <laughs> Touché. Boris is what you might call a professional sleeper. Other and pull some pranks every now and again. But really, I love you, bro. Aww. Love you too, Bells. Behind you! What? What is it? What am I looking for? <laughs> what? What is it? What am I looking for? Come on, tell me. Tell me. Show me. What? Yeah, this what? isn't going away anytime soon, kiddos. Come Thanks for watching. Come on, tell me. <laughs> the 
making of the greatest Fingerlings movie ever made. Like, ever. The documentary. Filmed over 28 months and cast with every superstar in the Fingerlings world, the film was set for commercial and critical success. Why is it so expensive? But despite concerns from studio head Finn McBigwig, production moved forward, casting their first lead role, that of Fingerlings star, Boris the Monkey. I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie. A veteran performer on the Fingerlings show, Boris was eager to spread his artistic wings. I guess, yeah, I was looking to show that I had a serious side. I get typecast a lot as the funny dude, the handsome lead, the love interest, stuff like that. I guess I just wanted the world to know there's a real actor behind all this leading man exterior. I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie. This city is mine, just like this sky, all mine. I'm their protector, their savior, their- ah! Cut! Written, produced, and directed by Marge the Sloth, the film was an opportunity for the mammal to tell a deep and personal story. I like when stuff blows up. And... Action! Uh, I forgot my line. Who am I playing again? Cut! In a daring move, the studio agreed to cast the Minis, an acting troupe notorious for causing trouble wherever they go. No! You listen to me! We are partners! And partners can't be stopped! We are one! You hear me? One! I love you, man! Now let's stop these bad guys! Well, I just read the part and immediately knew we had to stop doing our two-monkey play and immediately commit. Oh, yes, very true. They did spend a lot of money, though, didn't they? Please, please, Marge! Can you please stop spending so much money? This movie is killing me! Yeah. No. But I'm the boss! Oh, man. Capitalizing on her immense popularity on social media, the studio hired mega personality Gigi the Unicorn in hopes of increasing box office success. Um, instead of answering your questions, do you mind if I plug my new cartoon? Well, I guess. Oh, goodness! Um, do we have a clip? Uh, you brought one, so, yeah. Can I tell you a secret? Please. Okay, well. As production moved on, Marge doubled down on her wish to film the most expensive dance number ever made. Mainly because the Glitter Girls had very good lawyers. Defying all expectations, Marge cast robotic action star, Rob Osapien. Come with me if you want to live, before I destroy you! I just really connected with the script. Um, does anyone know what this movie is about? <laughs> so much money! Unicornica, you won't stop me! Count Raptor, my arch nemesis, you aren't going anywhere! Well, what are you going to do about it? Disclaimer, fingerling toys do not shoot real laser beams. Call it a success or failure. Call it the whim of people with too much money. <laughs> I never agreed to this! But if there is one thing to be said for Marge's greatest and only film ever made, it's that the power of dreams is still alive and well in the world of the fingerlings. That is, until... 
But that's a story for another time. Thanks for coming back, everyone! And make sure to like and subscribe below for more Fingerlings fun! Trust me, there's a lot more where that came from. Shh, Polly! Spoiler alert! Let's not ruin the surprise! See you next time!